Speaker, look, and I'd like to, to welcome um, um, Minister Dean here to the House. It's great to see him. Um, this issue has been brought to my attention by a number of um, our councillors throughout the country. Uh, the issue um, uh, concerning house, the housing adaptation grants uh, for uh, people with disabilities and elderly people, and also the housing aid for older people grant scheme. These are schemes that have been very successful uh, in providing uh, elderly people uh, with a degree of comfort which facilitates them being able to live and remain in their own home for a longer period of time, which is something that is uh, very, very welcome. People at the, 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 the latter end of their life uh, deserve to be able to live in dignity and these schemes have facilitated many thousands of older people throughout the country uh, to be able to do necessary remedial works like uh, build an accessible bathroom or put in uh, windows and doors uh, uh, because what's in the house may be substandard. In some cases it uh, uh, facilitates a new roof or um, it facilitates um, uh, insulation. Uh, the biggest problem this year compared to, compared to other years is that the local authorities as of yet um, uh, haven't been notified as to the contribution uh, they're going to get uh, towards these schemes for 2015. Uh, now, I would contend that we should be increasing the allocation uh, uh, to the, both of these schemes because it has a double effect. Not alone does it facilitate what I've outlined already in terms of our older uh, uh, citizens, but it also uh, provides uh, much needed employment to small construction uh, companies, uh, maybe somebody implying two or three people, as opposed to bigger construction uh, uh, operations, because the smaller ones are able uh, to provide the, the, the level of service and the quotations and so on that's required for this scheme. I suppose, in essence, um, I cannot understand for the life of me why we're into April now uh, uh, and the local authorities haven't been told what their contribution is going to be for 2015. My understanding is that last year, 2014, they were made aware of what they were going to get in terms of funding for the scheme in January. And that uh, happened in previous years as well. So two things. Number one, when are, we, are the local authorities going to receive a circular outlining the figure they're going to receive? And secondly, can we expect that figure to be increased uh, uh, for each local authority uh, compared to the uh, funding they received in 2014. Okay. Um, okay, look, I would like to thank Senator Conway for raising this very important matter for a large number of people in this morning here in the Shannon. Uh, the Department of the Environment, Community and Local Government provides funding to local authorities under the Housing Adaptation Grant Schemes for older people and people with a disability. The suite of grants under this scheme is available to private homeowners and it provides significant social benefit in terms of facilitating the continued independent occupancy of their own homes by older people and people with a disability. The grants are 80% funded by the Department of the Environment, Community and Local Government with a 20% contribution from the resources of each local authority. Exchequer funding of over 37 million euro was provided in 2014 for these grants. This amount combined with the contributions from the local authorities give an overall spend of 46.3 million euro. For 2015, the national funding is to increase by some 10% to give a combined spend of 50.5 million euro. Individual allocations to local authorities will be made shortly. I expect that some 8,000 households will benefit under the schemes in 2015. I'm aware that the grant measures are heavily subscribed across local authority areas and the Department of the Environment, Community and Local Government will be requesting local authorities where necessary to prioritise those applications based on need. At local level, the detailed administration of these schemes, including the assessment, approval and payment of individual grants to applicants, is the responsibility of the relevant local authority. Funding is also available to support local authorities in undertaking adaptations and extensions to their own social housing stock to meet the needs of their tenants with a disability or to address serious overcrowding. Support from the Department of the Environment, Community and Local Government meets 90% of costs, with local authorities providing the remaining 10%. Again, the implementation of works under these supports for local authority tenants is a matter for the authorities themselves. 
it is for them to determine in the first instance if the works are needed to make the accommodation more suitable for the tenant and to prioritise the use of available resources. In recent years, despite significant funding reductions for social housing overall, a concerted effort has been made to protect expenditure in respect of extensions and adaptations to local authority homes. In 2014, funding nationally under this area was eight million, and I know that Minister Kelly hopes to ensure that the 2015 funding for these supports to local authorities is at least maintained at the same level as last year. Brief question. Senator. Very briefly, Cahirlach, and I'd like to thank the Minister for uh, a comprehensive response. Uh, in his response, he said that, that the allocations will be made available to the local party shortly. Could he be a little bit more specific on that? Could we get a date? Because councillors and indeed officials are crying out for a date and crying out to be told so as they can proceed to the next stage and make allocations available. Well, uh, when I leave the House, certainly the Chamber, I will uh, contact the Minister's office and request that information. I don't have that information available to me now, but I'm sure it's quite a simple procedure to make the phone call to find that information out for the senator. So I will do that. Thank you, thank you Minister. Thank you, the host.